Hey YouTube family, just going to make a quick review on this ATI Gen 2 side saddle for your Mossberg, Remington, Winchester shotguns. In this application I have it on a 590 shockwave here. <clears throat> the reason I decided to go with this uh, side saddle, it looked like it had pretty decent reviews and, and I like that it has a modular design where each one of these compartments can be removed or cells or whatever you want to call them um, can be removed from the shotgun if you don't want that many. I also, <clears throat> in my configuration, the, one that, the way that I'm running it, um, I double stack the shorty shells. So with the nine compartments, um, I have <clears throat> 18 rounds on the gun. Uh, in addition to nine that actually fit between the chamber and the buffer tube. Uh, so that gives me 27 rounds of uh, shorty shells. And I do like the uh, design with this integrated rail on top. So eventually at some point I'm going to put a red dot sight on that and we'll do, uh, we'll do a little bit of a review on that. I've heard from others who uh, have red dot sights on their shotguns. You want to get a red dot sight that's rated. That's just a little aside. Um, for the shotgun because the recoil can knock off your sights. Um, but getting back to the rail, um, it's aluminum on, on the, uh, the actual saddle itself, uh, some type of polymer uh, for the actual shell holders. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever actually run this type of configuration between having a shell up top and shell down bottom. I'm sure I'm not the first one to think about it. Um, but this is strictly for home defense for me. So um, if I need more than 27 shells, um, it's not the right application, uh, you know, when, with it, when it comes to a home defense scenario. Um, overall, the, the, uh, the compartments are tight, which are, which are nice. I'm sure they're going to loosen up over time. Um, tight enough to hold everything. Doesn't fall out. Um, doesn't add too much weight to the gun. I mean, shotguns are, are pretty hefty in general. Um, overall, I, I do... I do kind of like the look of it as well. Um, so not that looks or everything or anything, um, but uh, I really enjoy the functionality there. I will say the one thing that I guess I'm gonna criticize the product because by the way, this product is um, bought by me, paid by me. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form uh, by this company. Um, I just tend to buy things and, and do reviews um, without being sponsored, which is fine. Um, but I will say uh, trying to have trigger discipline Having a double stack here with the shorty shells, which again, um, you can run in whatever configuration you want, whether you're right-handed or left-handed. I find that my finger is resting up against the, uh, the shells when trying to have trigger discipline. Um, my fingers aren't that big, which is, you know, which is kind of nice. I guess it's nice to have, you know, smaller, thinner fingers. Um, but I could see someone who has uh, sausage links for fingers. Uh, that could pose a problem, and they might find that to be uncomfortable. Um, not a not a design flaw per se because I'm running this again in a certain configuration, um, but you could always remove these these three if that was an issue, or if you're you know a different type of shooter, remove two on the other side or three on the other side, whatever whatever configuration you want to run. Um, I I don't know if you could really say whether or not um, you want to recommend a product or what, whether I can say I can recommend a product. Um, if I had another shotgun, I think I'd I'd probably order a, another one like this. Um, just because I like having the capacity and I like how, how this loaded out. I don't know much about ATI um, in general. I will say the installation of this was simple. My receiver was already tapped, so it's just four bolts or four screws on top. And uh, yeah, it was simple installation. So in general, pretty happy with it. Uh, like how the shotgun's coming along. Of course, I have this brace on the back. Um, and other than that, there's really... Not a whole lot other that's been been modified to this uh, to this non NFA firearm. So uh, yeah, next up uh, at some point we'll review a red dot with this. Take it to the range. You can check out my other video on the actual Mossberg itself, Mossberg 590. I have another review video on that if you're interested. Um, I do uh, I do like this ATI design. Um, you can't beat the amount of shells, number of shells you can get, especially double stacking with the shorty shells. Um, yeah. I, I really don't have any complaints about it. So uh, if you're looking for a side saddle, um, yeah, ATI might be right for you. And uh, yeah, so thanks. Have a great night.